This is an obstruction of the membranous nasal lacrimal duct, which runs along the temporal wall of the inferior nasal meatus. The metal probe penetrates the membranous nasal lacrimal duct in the inferior nasal meatus. The metal probe is removed and then the nunchuck tube is inserted. After making the tip portion of the tube flexible, by drawing the metal probe 5 to 10 millimeters out of the tube, the nunchuck tube is introduced into the lacrimal sac. The metal probe is drawn further to make a 10 millimeter portion of the tube flexible to follow the anatomy of the nasal lacrimal duct. The membranous nasal lacrimal duct on the temporal wall of the inferior nasal meatus is obstructed. The nunchuck tube is progressively opening the membranous nasal lacrimal duct. The tip of the tube does not appear from the opening of the nasal lacrimal duct because of slippage of the metal probe in the tube. A second small cut is created and from the second cut, the metal probe is inserted to push the tube. If the tube is the step NST, in which the nunchuck tube has steps on the inner surface, this procedure is not required. Rhinostomy is created in the membranous nasal lacrimal duct, which runs on the temporal wall of the inferior nasal meatus using a semiconductor laser. The nunchuck tube is taken out 70 days postoperatively. The removal process is very easy. A big rhinostomy including the natural opening is created. This is an endoscopic irrigation 436 days postoperatively. Fluid is flowing from the new large opening.